Each day, Sherman drives great distances, going from one drilling operation to another. Yes, over the rugged wilderness of the Great Plateau, Sherman Asplund's truck meets every challenge successfully because it's been there before. A model of Sherman's truck was put through 900 bumps a minute so engineers could study their effects on springs, shock absorbers, engine and body mountings. Stress concentrations under actual road conditions were recorded. Vibration frequencies at varying speeds and degrees of roughness were studied to overcome problems of metal fatigue. Truck as well as car transmissions were tested under conditions similar to a climb up Pikes Peak, including road grades and hairpin turns. Putting trucks through more grueling trials than the wildest terrain of the Colorado Plateau can provide. Cliff Morgan has the kind of job that most of us at one time or another think that we'd like. Cliff is the timber boss for a big lumber company in the Pacific Northwest. Forty years old, Cliff has worked in the woods for over 22 years. He uses his truck for an office and for transportation, carrying anything from dynamite or injured men to spare parts for heavy equipment. He works the year round, except for about six weeks in winter when snow usually closes down the entire woods. In logging parlance, a show is the area in the center of a good stand of trees that are to be taken down. Cliff plans every show, builds the roads and bridges to bring out the logs, and selects the right men for the work. Now, with a hundred men under him, he works from 5.30 every morning until 6 or 7 at night, sometimes staying in the woods for days in time of deadlines, floods, or fires. Every two hours during the day, Cliff checks the weather forecast on his two-way radio. Wind changes, rain and fire are constant danger. And when the humidity falls to 30%, it is an unwritten law of the woods that all work stops. The danger from fires is so great that even all combustion engines are shut off. Cliff's hobbies are night baseball and fishing, but most of the time he's working. And there isn't a job he asks his men to do that he hasn't done himself. From fallers, the men who saw down the trees, to buckers, the men who cut the fallen trees into various lengths. To the dumpers, who dump the logs into the river where they are hauled away to the sawmill by tugboat. Throughout Cliff's job, Top performance, economy, and reliability under tough operating conditions are must for his vehicle. Yet Cliff Morgan's truck meets every test. Why? Because it's been there before. Yes, long before Cliff's truck was put into production, durability tests forced the engine through an entire lifespan of normal use within the space of a few days. Brake linings were checked under high brake drum temperatures to find out how well the brake lining material kept its friction quality. Metal alloys were checked for constant friction wear resistance characteristics. Torsion strengths of various steels for crankshafts were tested for long life endurance. Today, nearly 140 million miles of experience and an accumulation of more than 30 years of testing know-how go into the day and night round-the-clock trials of Chevrolet task force trucks. Perhaps this is why people like you have bought more Chevrolet trucks than any other, year after year for more than 19 years. You know a Chevrolet task force truck is tailor-made to give maximum performance, economy, and reliability wherever it is called upon to operate because it's been there before.